Hey, what's up YouTube? Formerly Legend Master here with a new video. As you can tell, I got something that could actually do something besides just the uh, DS. And that is a camera. And this is kind of loud, so give me a second while I find the, the power. I mean, the sound. There we go. Anyway, I thought a good way to kind of showcase this new tech was to do a Final Fantasy X HD remaster uh, run through, play through. Let's play. There we go. Anyway, let's just get started. I've already got episode two recorded. I know that sounds strange, but um, there you have it. Anyway, the first thing I noticed kind of different about the remaster is this screen right here. I can actually choose between a standard sphere grid, which is what most people run, um, or what I used to run because that's what Final Fantasy X had standard set, or the expert sphere grid. Now, because I haven't actually used the expert sphere grid, that's what we're going to use. Well, I haven't used it since like this first playthrough, so... Unfortunately, when I was playing through, just to kind of remember where everything was, I noticed that, uh... You gotta be careful on this thing, otherwise you might trap yourself and make one character pretty much useless. I'll try to be quiet during cutscenes. This game's absolutely beautiful. I love this game. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Oh, so many memories tied up in this game. Just beautiful. And this is why this game sold, well, has been selling better than Lightning's Return, don't get me wrong. I do think Lightning Return has a great combat engine, I just haven't played much more besides that. So I can't really say anything else besides that. Hi, civvies! Yep, another tech Final Fantasy, better get used to it. <laughs> Welcome to the Techno City and Ghostly Boys. Oh boy. And this is actually my third attempt trying to record this. The first time I figured I'd be silent and then kill the sound and uh, voice over it, but then I realized one, wouldn't be getting any sound, which is actually kind of quiet now. And two, um, it wouldn't be really quite as light. So I just went and did episode two this way, and it worked out pretty well, so I came back and did episode one because 
it wasn't working out any other way. So here we go. Let's keep going. Lots of people, and they're all staring at Titus. Or Titus. I don't care how you pronounce his name. So, yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, how are you feeling? Ooh, excuse me. Great as ever. Thanks. Yeah, we're cheering for you. Are you going to show us that shot tonight? Ugh, her voice. Uh, hmm, I don't know. Maybe. You should do it for us. She's got that really breathy voice. The jet shot! I'll be waiting! I mean, she can't help it. It's probably her natural Maybe voice. Tonight. It's very important. But... Sometimes you just meet someone that your their voice kind of gives you trouble. I mean, you can still like them, but their voice, you know. <laughs> I, I've been a big fan of yours from the very beginning. I won't let you down. Thanks. But I do think that actually helps kind of encourage the the realism in a fantasy setting. You're Jack son. I'd be crazy not to cheer for you. <laughs> good, good luck. Oh, she's pretty meek. All right, eeny meeny. Okay, we'll talk to these ladies. Can I have your autograph? Of course. So we're naming our character, and because this is a let's play, I'm just gonna leave it standard. We're good to go. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Wish oh, I could do that. I score a goal. I'll, uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? Double L. <laughs> what seat? He's blocking the front row! It's from the right! Got it. I like how I can just kind of go, whoop, nope, I'm, I'm gonna run, no, I'm not. Running, nope, yeah, maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna run or not. <laughs> I love the fact you can do that. Please. Alrighty. Me too. Take it easy. For me, I personally thought that the PS2 generation was probably the best era, you know, with the Xbox, the GameCube, and the PS2. I think that was probably the best quality of games. Don't get me wrong, like the NES and stuff were well, great. Gotta go. Cheer for me. Two. Hey, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight. Um, you, know, you can't tonight. Well, I mean tomorrow. Promise. Promise. But yeah, um, and that was because. You had a lot of quality control, and you didn't have DLC obsession, and you had a huge variety of games that all sold really well. Side-scrolling shooters, platformers, uh, that one kind of took a hit during the PS2 era, if I recall correctly, but it still did alright, I think. As long as you don't get into the travesty of X7. <laughs> Oh man, I wish that game had done so much better, and had been so much better. But enough of me going down memory lane. If you're really curious about what I, why I feel that that generation was the best, um, I might make a video I was of it. In a coffee shop, running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, Jack, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanara says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa. Didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Apes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abe's. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. 
What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. Yep. His dad was a big name in Blitzball. Now, um, anyway, Blitzball's kind of a cool little sport. I wish it was real sometimes. <laughs> It'd be one I'd get into. Let me through, people! Hey, I'm gonna be late. Hey, let go of me. Big crowd, big crowd. The spearmen on the front in the front of the stadium definitely give it a nice touch, I think. Ooh, that CGI remastering. Mm -hmm. This song kind of put Final Fantasy X on the map in another way. If I recall correctly, this was the first time a rock song was used in a video game. It may be a pretty mild rock song, but still. Splash. Right to the crowd. Now, if only you could hit that hard when you actually play the game. The mini game, I mean. The spear shot. It's kind of his thing. Well then. That's going to leave a mark. The reason I do a lot more speaking in this playthrough during cutscenes, which I'm trying to avoid, is because there's a lot of them. Like... Cutscene now. Huh. Orin! What are you doing here? What are you talking about? Okay, I get it. You're offline. Great. We've got some people that haven't made it, which is kind of tragic, needless to say. When I first started playing this game, I was so in absorbed in what was going on with Titus, I didn't even think about anything else, so it's like, what in the world's going on, man? Huh? Huh? But all those people. It begins. They have their own stories. Don't cry.
and to us the viewer, of course, Titus being the most important, but... What the? I never noticed that about a zipper. It looks kind of like a cross. Hey, wait! I mean, the entire thing. I mean, if you have just the, the one zipper, it looks kind of like a plus sign, so... Hey, not this way! I'm doing it this at 3 in the morning, so I might be a little weird. We call it sin. Sin? He's trying to defend himself, but he's just really a kid who hasn't who's a blitzer, not a fighter. I can't blame him that on his any of his reactions right now. I really can't. I mean when I first saw him I thought he was a sissy or a coward or something, but someone who's never used a sword? Yeah, they'd be like that. I hope you know how to use it. No, not really. <laughs> Of course, for never using a sword before, he's doing pretty good. Now, one thing I should probably mention now before I can continue, if you look on the top right corner, you see a, a strange looking gauge or thing, something. Anyway, that thing actually tells you when who goes, and some of the best RPGs have it. Um, I should actually do that again, or the next one after this. Maybe do X Command Mission. I love that game. Boom. And I have both the GameCube and PS2 versions. We'll be doing PS2 because I don't really want to try to bother with the uh, Game Boy Advance token thing. Don't bother going after all of them. Cut the ones that matter and run. Spines. Ow. And you probably want to take out the ones you can to the next command gauge. So we're going to do just that as much as we can, but there's so many, we're going to get hit. Not this time, though. The nice thing about this is it has kind of a long tutorial series, but I wish it would give you experience for doing all this. Oh, and that thing is hot. I'm gonna try to turn it around, but hey, we got ourselves a overdrive filled. Okay, so basically overdrive is limit break. Just called a different thing because I don't know if they felt like it. And I'm just opening a window because it's getting warm in here with that big overhead light. And I don't think you can see me right now because I have it pointed directly at the screen and only the screen. There we go. Now I got some cool air coming in without having to run in an AC or something stupid like that. I mean, I like the AC as much as anyone, but. Alright. Bushido Dragon Fang. Everyone has their own way of doing command arts, overdrive arts. I gotta admit, I love Orange. He's got great uh, crowd control. 
and it's a pretty easy one to control. Titus's, on the other hand, can be a bit annoying, even if you're good at the game. Oh. I didn't think I was going to do it the first try, but that's great. Basically, you have to get it in the little orange box in time. And having three seconds to do that can be problematic. Ow. But I'm not going to bother healing because all it can use is Demi. Yeah, do that 35 damage to Titus. That's it. I like the fact that they chose to give him Demi, so you can kind of experiment as you want. Good design choice. And I don't feel like my hand's being held. I mean, they told me about how Overdrive worked and forced me to use it, but for the most part, you're free to do what you want with the, the limited tools you have at the point, this point. Soar is a record of your travels. Also, it fully restores your party's MP and HP. I got that flipped around. Anyway, that's where the first episode is going to end because I have the second episode recorded from this point right after the save. So, I'm going to have to go ahead and load this up and continue from there. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play and see you soon.